Good morning. It's what is it? Tuesday, February nineteenth, two thousand nineteen. We're taking a trade on the ZB this morning, and um, gonna see how this works out. So what we've got? Look at the chart. The morning started kind of with this big downtrend and then we came and we're in this little range here and I took a short right here at 146.18 first targets gonna be three ticks away at 146.15 uh, the ZB is every tick is worth $30 uh, once it hits this 146.15 if it hits that and gets us out we will move our stops to break even actually our stops should be here anyway which is only two ticks away so we're not risking much we're only risking two ticks going for three and five three and six it looks like actually so going for three and six um, we take a look at this on the 30 minute chart you can see uh, how we were headed down this morning then we got hung up in here and that just looked like a good place to get short Now it's possible that with this small area of resistance here that this is all the farther it gets and we just get hung up in this range or worse. But I think that we've got a good possibility of getting out of this. Um, over here what we have is book map. Book map shows us what's going on in the order book. Uh, it's a live look. It prints out this color chart um, to visualize what's happening over here with the the buyers and the sellers, or the sellers and the buyers, as it were. Uh, so this is who's lined up in the book, ready to trade. This is the trades that have actually taken place. This is a delta chart of who's pulling and adding. So right now we've got in this small amount of time we've got you know more people adding to selling and pulling from buying so that's a good sign for now I mean that can flip on a dime and then over here we've got big trades so anybody that trades over a 50 lot will pop up over here and that's just so I can kind of track what big dogs are doing um, see if they've made any major plays so we'll let this ride out we'll see what happens and we'll come back to it. All right, we got a couple things going on here. Um, as you can see from this color chart, a little more pressure has been added to the sell side. Um, some sellers move, they drop down. Um, the darker this is, the more sellers have lined up in the situation. So this 1,000 sellers that you see right here, bouncing around 982 1000 they were up here and then they moved down that's usually a good sign uh, the pressure is still good 358 to negative 165 we had another big seller come in no big buyers so I'm liking I'm liking what I'm seeing so far we've only got to get down one more tick to get us out and uh, to get us even one thing about the ZB is it can take a while to uh, get out of your trade once it ends up on your um, order target. canceled there we go so we got out of that I don't know why it says canceled but we met our target and now we're going for more so we got our three ticks that's ninety dollars in the bank and now we want to get down here for a hundred and eighty dollar trade and so this is the 30 minute chart I really like the 30 minute chart for ZB because um, ZB is so methodical and so it really creates levels and it pays attention to those levels and so to rehash what we got in this trade to begin with I think it's very easy to see on the ZB you know we had this big move down so I'm kind of looking for another 
pushed down. We got hung up here and it created, let's see if we can see this. Uh, I guess we'll just do it with this in the way, but you know, this would be the top of this little hang up level right here would be 146.19. But I really liked this area. This is kind of where these dots right here is an indicator called uh, the Ninja Trader Trade Detector, Order Flow Trade Detector. And all that's doing is putting up dots where more volume happens. I've got it set to a certain amount of volume. And so it'll pop up a dot. So we're seeing that this is where the level where most of the volume is being traded. We had a big sell um, back here at 630. I didn't start trading till about 655. Got in about seven o'clock on the trade. So that's why I traded here. That's why I sold here. I like this level. And if it if I was wrong, I was only going to lose two ticks. If I was right, I was going for three ticks and six ticks. Um, and the reason why I'm targeting six is should be fairly obvious. That's the low of the day. So let's get out there and call it a day. And then we may be done. It's only 7.15 in the a.m. Central Time. We could be done trading before the ES even opens at 8.30 Central Time. We can be well done trading by then. And that's what I like. There's almost always, I'll give you a secret. There's almost always a trade that happens between 6.50. And I'm not talking like just a trade. I'm talking like a good move between about 6.50 a.m. Central and about 7.40 a.m. Central. There's almost always one good trade. So you could spend your day focusing just on one trade and then enter out and then go about your life and not spending your whole damn life staring at a screen which is kind of uh kind of what i like i don't like staring at the screen all day so we'll come back to this if it plays out see what happens all right we're popping back in we've been bouncing around uh, for the last minute or two uh, threatening to come down to uh reach my six tick target and uh, I mean, that's the low of the day. We don't know if we're going to get it. There is on the 30 minute chart, most certainly a level in this area. Maybe that's all we get. Uh, I moved my, I moved my stop to uh, one tick. So at the very um, plus one tick. So at the very worst, we're going to get another $30 out of this. If it comes back. Um, I'm still liking what I'm seeing. I'm still liking the odds that we'll get this pushed down just one more to come back to the slow of the day, but I mean, maybe not. Maybe 146.13 is all we're going to get. Let's move back to the five minute chart. Five minute charts, a little uglier today, a little harder to read. Stick with the 30 minute for now. As far as book map goes, the sellers are still in the ch in, in charge here. Um, there's been no big buyers to move in. And well, so now we're pu pulling back up and now we got a big buyer. So we've got some activity moving around. Maybe that's what we need to sell off. We needed somebody to come in to buy so we could push down further on the sells. Here we go. Come on, one more. Push down one more time. All right, I'm going to protect myself here. We're going to make sure we at least get two ticks out of that trade. 
if it does come back, if the sellers weaken up. Right now it's not looking like they're going to. Let's see. We need them to get stronger here though. At 146.14, they're kind of looking, they're looking a little weak. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the cat, the cat's crying outside. Let's go take care of that pussy. All right, cat satisfied. Um... Buyers look like they're weakening up down here at 146.13, which is one I want to see. I want to be able to push through this last this last one into where my uh, target is at 146.12. Still liking the way everything's lined up. Looking like we're going to push down. Come on, push down. We're into 146.13. We just need those buyers to fade away. So we're going to move down again with our stops. We're at least going to get three ticks out of it now. If it happens to come back because this certainly could be all the further we go Yeah, that might have been it. Buyers are making a play. We've now flipped where the pressure, as you can see, has turned around. We're going to try to get this. We're going to see if we can pull four ticks out of this now and just call it a day. Order canceled. And there we go. So basically we just bought insurance. And it could, who knows, I mean it could move down another 10 ticks, but we bought insurance and Ended up with, you know, an easy $218 this morning on the live account. And now you're done. And it's not even 7.30 yet. But we'll pop back at 7.30. 7.30 is when the uh, ZV market actually opens. And that's when it'll start moving and, and show us if we made the right move getting out early or not. Okay, so... Um, 7.30 has opened the market, and we made the right move getting out with those four ticks. Five ticks is all the further it made it. So we got out at four, we got out at three, and, uh, and then the market pulled back. Um, 
And in the ZB, you know, a few ticks is kind of a lot of a move. So at this point, if you were still playing the game, uh, I'm going to be done for the day. But you'd just be looking for another setup now. Now you'd be looking, you know, if you think it's going to go down still, uh, you just get back in for a sell or you wait for um, a move to go up. But that's how I play the ZB anyway, is you just you take those small moves. And then if it pulls back or something and you think it's still going to go in your direction, then just just get back in. But take take those ticks when you can take them. All right, man. Happy trading.